be from my book stash. I'm a 10 year old book enthusiast. In today's video, I'm going to review one of my favorite children's classic books by E.B. White, which is Charlotte's Web. I read this book for the first time when I was 8. I thoroughly enjoyed the way author E.B. White has narrated this timeless classic. Illustrations by Garth Williams blend beautifully with the story. I feel this is a perfect book for young readers who are looking for chapter book recommendations. If you like my review, please comment, subscribe and click the like button. So, let's get started! Charlotte's Web is a sweet story written long back in 1952. It's about friendship, believing in yourself and the power of positive words. For those who don't know, Charlotte is actually the name of the spider and not the little girl shown on the cover page. The little girl's name is Fern. The story revolves around the central character, Wilbur, who is a pig. Wilbur is a runt which means a weak pig. Mr. Arabel, that is Fern's father, decides to butcher Wilbur. But Fern intervenes and saves Wilbur from getting killed. She raises Wilbur as her pet with a lot of love and care. After Wilbur grew up, Mr. Arabel couldn't afford to raise him. So, he sold Wilbur to Fern's uncle, Mr. Zuckerman, who had a big farm with many animals. Wilbur meets Charlotte at the farm. She is a clever spider with excellent vocabulary. She says to Wilbur, Salutations are greetings. When I say salutations, it's just my fancy way of saying hello or good morning. Actually, it's a silly expression and I'm surprised that I use it at all. As for my whereabouts, that's easy. Look up here in the corner of the doorway. Here I am. Look, I'm waving. The other characters are a noisy and silly geese, a greedy rat called Templeton and an old sheep. Charlotte, amongst all, is the most intelligent, loving and loyal grey spider. Wilbur, after all, is a farm pig and his fate is known to everyone. Wilbur knows it too that he will be killed someday, so he feels lonely and unhappy all the time. Yet. Every chapter unfolds with everyday adventures of Wilbur and his friends. Charlotte and Wilbur become friends. Charlotte encourages Wilbur to realize that he is much more worthy than being ham and bacon on someone's plate. Soon, Charlotte plots a genius plan to save Wilbur from getting killed. She starts spinning exemplary webs. Charlotte's webs become a point of attraction for people around the town. Something miraculous happens. What I like about this book is that this story is imaginative, humorous and elegantly written. It is about friendship, faith, loyalty, sorrow, miracles and most importantly, hope. This book is enjoyable for both children and adults. I hope everyone reads it once in their lifetime. I give this book 5 stars to this enduring children's classic book which has been captivating readers of all ages for generations. That's all for today friends. Stay tuned to my channel for more reviews on fictional and non-fictional books. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my review. See you later. Until then. Goodbye.